And with all this talk of government shutdowns and where the tax reform plan stands, or is it just a tax plan? The Federal Reserve has been eerily quiet, but the guessing game is very loud. The Fed Fund's futures at this hour show there is still an extremely strong chance that they'll raise interest rates by a quarter of a percent next Wednesday. Right now, December chance, 90.2 percent. So how do you invest in a rising rate environment with also the, the tax discussion swirling around and government shutdown? Chris Oberbeck is the CEO of Saratoga Investment Corp. It's a publicly traded stock, and it is up 17 percent year over year. So I'm listening to you right now. Uh, which is most important to you as an investor, looming government shutdown, tax reform plan, or the Federal Reserve hiking rates? Well, I'll choose the uh, tax reform plan and uh, uh, rising rates. I think let's we'll start with rising rates. I think the reason the, the Federal Reserve is considering raising rates is because the economy is doing better. Mm -hmm. uh, the stock market is a leading indicator of, of you know, ex economic expectations, and the market's up. Uh, the economy's up, and so rising rates is, is kind of a normal part of a, of a recovery and, and, a, and a growth. So I think, I think that's all actually positive news. I think tax reform, while it's going to be difficult for the high income earners in states like New York, uh, for businesses, it's uh, very positive. And I mean, that means earnings will look good. Earnings are going to get better, but I think investing in, the corp in corporations, investing in businesses in the United States and foreign direct investment in the United States is going to be relatively more attractive. Okay, but well, I promised my viewers that you were going to name two stocks that no matter what the market does, people will still make money. Not a 5% dividend, not a 7%, not a 3%, but two names that have 10% yields. What are they and why are you picking them? Because they're both kind of in the same industry. Sure. The same industry is the BDC industry, and that's a, a pass-through kind of uh, investment, like a real estate investment trust for business loans. And there's two companies. One is a company called Pennant Park, and the other one is, um, is Oak, Oak Tree, Tree Specialty Finance. Mm -hmm. And uh, both of those pay around 10 percent dividends. 10 percent. And the whole industry pays around nine to ten percent, and uh, they you know, represent a very solid place to be. And I think what's really important can about we show, the industry. Sorry, can we show that full screen? Because what we did sure. was we wanted to show people not just how the stock is trading on any random day, right. but what that dividend is. So here you have Oak Tree at ten point two percent dividend. This is not how far they've jumped. This is a dividend, and Pennant Park is ten percent. So as we wrap here, we've got fifteen seconds. Tell me what you, as an investor, are doing right now, going into the end of the year. Uh, well, I think we're certainly looking at the tax bill, figuring out you know, how that's going to impact our portfolio companies and how we're going to invest going forward. There's a lot of implications for companies, but we think in general the implications for middle market companies where we invest are very positive, domestic U.S. companies. Good to see you, Chris. Chris Overbeck of SAR. Check it out. Nice return there. That